Hi, I'm Shalita Datani from the Canadian Pharmacists Association. On behalf of everybody here at CPHA, I want to wish you a happy Antibiotic Awareness Week. Did you know that more than half of all antibiotic prescriptions in Canada are not even necessary? And that antibiotics have risks, they have side effects, and as you know, they can contribute to antimicrobial resistance. So here are four ways that pharmacists can be antimicrobial stewards. Number one, education. It's cough and cold season right now, but no amount of antibiotics are really gonna get rid of that cold. Fluids, rest, and over-the-counter pain medication are the way to go. If your patients need a prescription for antibiotics, then make sure you talk to them about whether they really need to finish the entire course or not. Sometimes they don't, and recent studies suggest that shorter courses are smarter. And remember, you can use best practice evidence and guidelines to talk to prescribers and patients about choosing the right antibiotics for the right patient. Over 90% of antibiotics are prescribed in the community. Pharmacists can help educate prescribers and patients on using them wisely. Number two, health promotion and prevention. So pharmacists give flu shots, so we're already involved in programs around immunizing against viruses and even some bacteria. So use those opportunities to talk to your patients about the appropriate use of antibiotics and even remind them of the really simple things they can do to control and prevent infections, like thorough hand washing. Number three, appropriate prescribing. In some provinces, pharmacists can prescribe antibiotics independently for strep throat and for urinary tract infections, which, by the way, is the fifth most common reason for emergency department visits. In many settings, pharmacists work with other healthcare practitioners and have a direct role in influencing the type of antibiotic that's chosen for a patient. And hot off the press from CPJ's June issue, there's evidence showing that when pharmacists prescribe for uncomplicated UTIs, symptoms are resolved in 90% of patients and they can access a pharmacist's care on average a day earlier than their physician. And number four, Continue to develop those great relationships that you have with the physicians that you work with. Pharmacists can engage with prescribers to help influence or even change some of the antibiotic decisions that they've made for patients during prescribing. And as we get a more comprehensive electronic health record in this country, pharmacists will have even more information to guide the right decisions towards the right antibiotics for the right patient. And there you have it, folks four things pharmacists can do right now to help fight this global health 